Alright everyone, today we'll be talking about The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom as it's going to be coming out in less than 12 days. So I just want to go ahead and go over this last trailer that they released before they release it and just get my thoughts and opinions on it. Judging by what we're seeing right now graphically, this will be much more better than Breath of the Wild. And so far from what I'm seeing, it looks like it's going to be more expansive. Even though it is the same world, it looks like they're going to have some new areas. Obviously you can explore, which is going to be fun to see, to see how they could fit new areas into an already existing map. What I love right now too is that the fact that there's music in this Zelda game. While Breath of the Wild did lack some, and which didn't bother me a bit, but when I did stop for a minute I was like, huh, there's no music, which is oddly weird because it's a Zelda game. It's known for its music. So I'm glad to see that music will be coming back in Tears of the Kingdom. And obviously people are talking about this, you know, Banjo and Kazooie like build your own vehicle um setup which knowing nintendo they will not do the same thing what microsoft did they will actually probably make this new mechanic fun Ju and judging by from what i'm seeing it already looks like it's going to be fun this right here i'm extremely excited for is that it looks like you're going to have companions that actually follow and help you fight whether it is, it looks like main characters like Stidon and the rest of the gang, or whether it be minor characters. Now that's going to be something interesting to see how this all plays out. Judging from what we're seeing with Zelda right now, it looks like... People have been theorizing this, and it looks like she's going to be stuck in the past, future, or in like a little time loop. Or you never know, she probably could just be lost somewhere in Hyrule and Link's gotta find her in this vast, expansive map. And judging from what I'm seeing with new enemies and boss fights, it looks like traditional dungeons are coming back. Which is good, because it doesn't look like it's gonna sacrifice the open world area of Breath of the Wild. So it looks like it's gonna be merging these two worlds together. So that was the trailer overall. Overall, just like I said, I'm excited for it. I think this might be... I, I don't think it might. I know it will be a heck of a lot better than Breath of the Wild. Alright guys, see you next time.